Welcome to the Polar Express, the only talk show set on a spaceship powered by a carnival ride. I'm Captain Patches, and this is my assistant and head in a jar, John. John, say hello. Hello, I am very concerned and confused about this arrangement. If we weren't here on the ship right now, we would be at the Queen City X, which is Regina, Saskatchewan's local fair. It's been described as the greatest event in the city. And that's a direct quote from a trash-eating seagull. I do love the Queen City X, though. Uh, I like the food. It's always so extreme. Many donuts, ice cream tacos, deep-fried Mars bars. There are, of course, calorie-free options. You have um, whiplash, secondhand smoke, <coughs> and carny threats. Mmm. <coughs> Would you like a corn dog? No, thank you. I'm saving my appetite for toothless aggression. Carnies are the best though. They'll convince you to play completely scam games for absolute garbage prizes. They'll be like, hey, bet you can't knock these paint cans over with these dry sponges. You can win a prize. They come in small, medium, or large dose of lead poisoning. <laughs> I like the rides at the X as well. I mean, um, have you ever been on the zipper? It goes fast. It's confusing. You feel sick. Have you ever been on the Gravitron? It goes fast. It's confusing. You feel sick. Have you ever checked your bank account after? It goes fast. It's confusing. You feel alone because your wife left you. <laughs> Captain, we have a collision alert on radar. What do you mean, collision? Oh, wow. We hit something really hard. John, damage report. It appears we hit a plot line. A plot line. Once you hit one of those and you get stuck, you have no choice but to go to the end. I guess I'll go down to the engines and get them working. <coughs> oh, man. Wow. We are clogged up with storyline gas up in here. No wonder nothing's working. Hey, and what's this? treasure map of some kind. Green cube. Interesting. And all these particles floating around, that's the kind of thing that only happens when a guest is about to arrive. Owie! Megan Nash, multi-talented singer-songwriter from Saskatchewan. Welcome to the Polar Express. Pleasure to be here on this beautiful ship. It's so strange how our ship, we crashed into this mysterious nebula floating through space and you brought with you this treasure map. Not really, because I always carry a treasure map on me. Uh, maybe it's not strange that you brought a treasure map with you, because, I mean, you have an album called Seeker, right? I'm always seeking, uh, spiritually, um, and, and just, and for gold, for gold. <laughs> Gold. And uh, ancient ancient coins. Uh, what is the most important thing to seek in life? Um, uh, ancient gold coins. Amazing. Uh, now, you're from Mortlach, aren't you? Yes. Originally from a farm nestled between Mortlach and Park Bag. And of course, every living being in the universe knows that Mortlach is a strategic place in the galaxy it's a hub if you will um so my question is is mortlach prepared for a full-on alien invasion yes mortlach is prepared um because they have been preparing pies for years they have lots of pies to offer as a peace offering to the aliens so i would say mortlach is probably one of the most prepared places good i can sell that information for a lot of money on some planet yeah, that could probably gain a lot of money on Glorbulon. I'm wondering, what kind of advice do you have for people who are on a dangerous journey? Maybe something that they have to overcome. What would you say to anyone who's creative and dreaming of that next big thing? Um, always make sure that you take a moment to celebrate the small successes along the way, um, whether they're personal or, or with, your, with your career. Um, wear shoes that have good grip as well. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the Polar Express, Megan Nash. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks for having me. Bye. According to this treasure map left by Megan Nash, the only way to find the treasure by the green glowing cube is to travel into a mysterious new dimension through a wormhole. But the only way to get there is to travel to this mysterious purple planet and this moon base. Here, we're going to have an encounter with a musical guest. He is, of course, the most emotionally powerful person in the universe. Multi-talented singer-songwriter and award-winning artist who is also piloting a giant robot, Andy Shaw. just too strange. Uh, uh, the cube! Uh, what is that? It's disgusting! Uh, 
Whoa, what is it doing? It's driving me mad! Uh, truly hideous. Be gone, foul creature. This dimension is just too strange. I don't know if I can carry on. Well, before I give up entirely, I guess it is time for a lunch break. <sighs> Let's see what I packed today. It's Carlo from Italian Star Deli. We believe in you, Captain Patches. You can do it. Never give up on your dreams, man. Go for it. Wow. You're absolutely right, Carlo. Thank you so much. We appreciate you and your delicious sandwiches. Oh, hey. What do you know? I found the treasure. Hey, what's that noise? Wow, we almost died. What a great way to spend an afternoon. Hey, Captain Patches, uh, what is the treasure? Oh, the treasure? Yeah, it's uh, a coupon for 50 cents off mini donuts. Wait, we almost died for 50 cents off mini donuts? Yep, pretty great. Well, that's all the time for the Polar Express. I'm Captain Patches. Remember, the universe is full of infinite wonders, but you're my favorite. Thank you so much for joining us. John, play us out. Let me hear you.